Hi, Marianne. What's the uniqueness of not having played Minnesota all season long? And I know you're focused on just tonight, but you'll have them three times here in a week. Does that provide any sort of unique dynamic from a coaching and a preparation perspective? Well, that's a little weird, isn't it? Uh, not to have seen them. And of course, we've watched quite a bit of tape and they've been on film and playing really well. They're one of the teams that since the break have played exceptionally well. So, you know, we know that we're going to have to bring our A game tonight and you know, I think the fact that we're playing them back to back here and then again a week from now um, actually it makes the scouting easier and uh, whatever transpires in the game, you can, you, you can look back and reflect and then be ready to make the adjustments you feel like are necessary for the next one. So uh, it's, kind of, it's not unlike a playoff series in a way. Um, but, you know, like I said, they're playing well right now and, and, and we've got to play well because they always have a very good crowd who is uh, loud and boisterous. So a great sixth man there. Um, you know, but I feel like our preparation has been good. I like how we've been playing of late, you know, it hasn't always translated into a win, but I think we've um, found some good combinations of players. And even though we've had injuries and in situations that, you know, aren't ideal, I think our players have stepped up and played pretty well. You've had a few players that have been playing well specifically um, over the last couple of weeks. I want to ask you about Tierra, though. Um, I think double doubles in three of her last four. What has stood out to you? It seems like her season has kind of just been on a constant upward trajectory. Well, I think she's finding a natural rhythm for herself. I think that also another thing is that when other people around her play well and stretch the floor and make people you know, commit to them like Lindsay Allen and you know Kelsey's playing well and then Victoria playing well that helps to open up the middle for T. So, um, you know, I think it's a combination of things, but she's done a, also done a great job getting on the boards and rebounding. And anytime she's in that beast mode on the boards, it, it's always a big deal and helps us. Right. That's all I have. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Pat. Thanks, Pat. Uh, Sloan Martin. Hi, Coach. I'm with the Lynx broadcast. Uh, thanks for joining me. I, um, do you see an opportunity here with the Minnesota Lynx because of how they played against Las Vegas? Cheryl has talked about the similarities, just really not happy with uh, her backcourt defense and facing again a couple really quick and powerful guards. Do you see an opportunity to really assert yourself um, with the way you play? Well, like I said earlier, I think we're playing pretty well right now, uh, but they've been one of the hottest teams in the league, no doubt. You know, they had to hit a little speed bump there in Vegas, but, you know, that happens. So, you know, I kind of look at that. If, if I'm coaching them, and I'm sure Cheryl would probably admit to it at least to a point, you got to flush that one and get back to what you know has been effective for you, which, again, what, they've won nine games since the break. Um, so, you know, I'm sure they will bring their A game as well today. Uh, we, we can't let them – uh, dominate the boards. We can't let them get scoring opportunities in transition. Um, and they're very capable. I think the other thing is that, you know, McBride's always a, uh, been a great shooter. She's really hitting her stride and playing exceptionally well, but they're getting complimentary pieces stepping up and playing. So, you know, they're a little bit of a handful, but, you know, I feel like we're ready and uh, it should be a really good game. I hope it's, I'm hoping that it's a well-played game and uh, fun for the fans and, uh, you know, we'll make our adjustments as we need to throughout the game. And I wanted to ask about Tierra playing Sylvia Fowles. You know, is that something that you want her to get up for, to say, like, this is an opportunity to, to not only learn, but to, to try and do something against an all-time great? What do you look forward to uh, in that matchup? Maybe you don't look forward to it because it is Sylvia Fowles, but what do you think about that matchup and having a young player like Tierra against her? Well, you know, Syl is one of the best ever. Let's just say that right up front. And, uh, you know, I think she's having a great year, not just a good year, a great year, you know, an MVP caliber year. And I think for Tierra, it's an opportunity for her to use uh, Syl as a barometer for where she is and where she wants to be. Um, you know, Syl's a terrific player. And when they need a bucket, they can go to her and, and she can be counted on to, to score. But she's so much more than that. She's, she, I think the thing she's really stepped up this year in particular is her rebounding. I mean, she's just been a monster, even when she's blocked out she's finding a way to still get to the glass and, and rebound the ball. And when she does that, very, very difficult to, to handle. But I think individually for Tierra, you know, at both ends of the floor, how she scores against her, how she maneuvers and, and uh, presents herself in the offense. And also then defensively, you know, the challenge of trying to guard Sylvia is, is, a, is a big thing. I mean, Sylvia's not going to be around forever. So this is the opportunity for Tierra 
to see how one of the all-time greats does it and to measure herself against that standard. Thank you, Sloan. Uh, I think that's it for this evening, Marianne. Thank you very much. And uh, we'll talk to everybody post-game. Thank you.